Okay, so this presentation is about Planet A, the tragedy of the tragedy of the commons. A few words about me. My name is Alberto. I'm a software engineer, and I'm a licensed time traveler. I just got my license, so I can travel like time. And uh, I come from year 2045. And as a proof, I have this screenshot from. Sorry. Thank you. So as a proof, I have this screenshot from Etherscan. As you can see, the block height of the Ethereum network is 62 million, and the timestamp is around 2045. So if you just wait like, what, 26 years, you should see this block hash at one point. And some people ask me on how like, the future actually looks like. And uh, so some people are taking holidays on Mars. This is a friend of mine sending me like postcards from there. I mean, yeah, it's, it's cool, but uh, I'm not sure if I want to spend like a weekend there. It's still, I mean, it's, it's a good place to visit, I guess. Then Ethereum 2.0 uh, has been finally de uh, like deployed <laughs> in September 15th, like 2042. And do um, you take the photo? Yeah. Okay, good. So I connect to the other one. And another thing, Brexit is al almost implemented, so we have 15 <laughs> days for it. <laughs> and... Yeah, so anyway, while we were distracted by all these technologies, social media, political stunts like Instagram, whatever, we actually fucked, the, fucked up the planet. So what does it mean? It means that, oh, this is like the drama slide, so suspense. It means that by the year 2045, the temperature of the world increased by two uh, Celsius uh, degrees, and this has some like really, really extreme consequences to like our our life. For example, uh, the effects of this climate change: uh, we will have more frequent wildfires, uh, stronger typhoons, and stronger like uh, tropical storms, and uh, rain won't rain that much. So it's actually quite uh, Earth is quite. Uh, fucked up place to live right now. So I decided my group that is Social Distortion Protocol, this is our logo more or less, and uh, plus Libda, we decided to come back to 2019 and play a small game with you. What we developed is called like a serious social game, and this game is running on uh, Ethereum Plasma. Raise your hand if you know what Ethereum Plasma is. Nice. Okay. So if you don't know us, people with raising, that raise their hand. And uh, this game is called Planet A, the Tragedy of the Commons. And uh, it's open source. And uh, yeah, it's developed like on GitHub. So you can follow that link and you can, you'll see everything. Um, and it works more or less like this. Oh, now you see that the quality of my slides decreases a lot because I was, <laughs> I was doing them out here. So, I mean, yeah, but then, I mean, I think they're, they're still useful. So, we have a set of phase of the game, and uh, when you enter, for example, an event like this one, at the reception, you will get uh, a QR code, okay? The QR code contains, like, a, a URL that, if you scan, uh, will basically load a, load a website on your phone, and uh, that looks more or less like this. So, this is a screenshot of the, of the actual uh, application. I also have it here that is live and running. And you will have the opportunity later to play the game. So pay some attention here. Together with the QR code, so if you open the QR code, you, you will receive like some balance in dollars and uh, a passport. The passport is what allows you to play the game. We have two countries, USA and USB. USA is United States of Ambrosia, while USB is United States of Balloons. And you also get some Gollars, comma, I didn't finish the slide. Gollars is actually the combination of girly and dollars. So if you, so that, that's why it's called Gollars. Uh, if you open the passport, so if you tap on the USA passport in this case, uh, in this case, you'll get like uh, uh, your, 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 uh, yeah, your password with your information. So in this case, I am a citizen of the United States of Ambrosia and my name is Chevron. And I have two other stats here. I have the CO2 that I produce in gigaton and the CO2 I lock. So how much basically CO2 I'm removing from air, still in gigatons. And then I still have the balance as you see. Just for major fun, 
The name of the passport is basically uh, is generated by us and is associated to one to one of one, Jesus Christ. It's associated to one of the top like 50 most polluting companies in the world. Okay, so we have basically this uh, nice database uh, that has like yeah, the major like uh, CO2 producers. This is a screenshot. You can also find the link down there. And uh, yeah, here you can see some nice stats. So each of you, after scanning the QR code, will receive a passport, and associated with the passport, you're basically playing with the name of uh, one of those companies. After the setup phase is done, we have, have actually the economy phase. So what you need to do is take your phone, go around, and handshake with others. Hey. So when you handshake, what happens is that you create value. Okay, this is a, a bit of an abstract thing, but this is how the game works. So you need to go around and, and handshake with others, and every time you handshake, you get some dollars out. So you will receive free money, okay? But the other thing that happens is that you release CO2 to air for everyone. So while the money is yours, CO2 is something shared among all players. And uh, this is how the like, start and shake uh, screen looks like. And uh, basically, yeah, from the UI, you'll see a, a button with handshake. You just press this, you have the QR code, and then you'll ask the other person to press the other button to scan it. So we have another like, uh, big uh, green button somewhere here on the top, bottom right. After you handshake, uh, you earn dollars. And then the economy phase can continue. So you can use the dollars to actually buy something of value. For example, you can buy a beer or just a drink here at Seabase. We have like, bought like 50 vouchers for you guys, so you can actually exchange dollars for value, that is, a drink. Unfortunately, they don't have quality beer like Sterni here. After a while that people are playing, we enter the tragedy phase. And uh, basically, again, since the, uh, the CO2 value, the, the value of the CO2 is uh, shared among all participants, if this value reaches a specific tipping point, then the beers will start to cost more and more dollars. So instead of two dollars, it will be like three, four, six, ten dollars. We also developed a nice dashboard that will be like projected here after I finish the talk, so you can also see how things are going. And uh, as you can see over time, the global value of CO2 is rising, and then there are two different values. Plus, it's a bit small here, but uh, this is a plus 1.5, the other one is plus 2 uh, degrees, Celsius degrees. And uh, if you are able to keep the CO2 level lower than 1.5, a beer is $2. If the value of CO2 fluctuates between 1.5 and 2, the price of the beer will increase, linearly or exponentially. So the game is not finished yet, okay? So I was, yeah, I was too lazy to put the emoji, so I put that one, I think you understand what I mean. Uh, so we're still developing the game. Tonight we're just like playing a simplified version of it. And uh, so you will be able to handshake with others, but you won't be able to lower the value of CO2. And uh, let's say it's a feature, not a bug, <laughs> just to make the game a bit more interesting. And uh, so what we, our plan is to basically finish the game and play it uh, with uh, thousands of people like at Berlin, at Berlin Spy and uh, the Chaos Communication Camp 2019. And those events will happen at the end of August. We, are also, we also have a grant on Gitcoin, so uh, we already have like 8,000 DAI pledged by ETH Berlin and Liptau uh, to develop the game. And uh, so if you have like some spare money, like you Ethereum billionaires, just put some, some, some money there as well. Did you take all of a picture of the URL? This is very important. <laughs> I'm not kidding. <laughs> okay. So it's your turn now, and uh, we will give you some uh, QR codes, like there at the bar. I think we have someone there. Yes, 
those two guys, they have like QR codes and they will be next to the bar. Each QR code has, a, again, a private key associated with some dollars and your passport and you can start playing the game right now. Uh, with the, after you scan the QR code, you, you have enough, you have, uh, enough dollars to buy a beer immediately. So you have three dollars, a beer is two. So just get a beer for free from us. You can get it here. You can buy it from me. Yes. And uh, then after you buy a beer, you can also before, I mean, that's not the right like, order. It's up to you. You can handshake with others. So you just go around and handshake, handshake other people for profit and try to not fuck everything up. Because if you're too greedy, then uh, beers will be too expensive for everyone, also for you. But that's also fun. Also, yeah, remember you start with three dollars. One drink is two dollars, and you earn 0.2 dollars for every handshake. Okay, so just to do the math, you have three. You remove two. You have one dollar left. You need to do some other handshakes to go back to two dollars and buy another drink. And, and I don't have a final slide. Thank you. <laughs>